Hey everybody, welcome back to Up on the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? So I have been MIA for about a week, a little over a week. Did you guys even notice? You probably didn't even notice, but I've been gone for a week. I'm doing okay. My family's doing okay. I haven't been affected by the coronavirus. I've actually been helping my cousin who is a pre-K teacher uh, make a YouTube channel and then managing her YouTube channel um, overall. Just, I just write you guys. I am helping out the kids. Um, So yeah, so I've been kind of like doing that and then trying to catch up on a couple movies. Um, I started actually watching Tiger King. I have one episode left on that. Uh, I have one episode left of Ozark as well. It finish uh Schitt's Creek and then there's this other thing that I started doing that really just kind of took up a lot of my time so I have officially joined TikTok I don't know do you join it I don't know I, I have a TikTok account you guys I'm able to I'll put some of my videos up here me out on there I have been going a little bit crazy I've had it for about a week a little over a week now uh, so I've been I've, I've been I've been doing that also so if I'm not helping on my cousin I'm I'm doing TikTok videos because now I'm about that life. I'm a horrible dancer, but I really enjoy attempting to learn these dances and of course just kind of doing like the voiceover. Like yeah, yeah, see how much how animated I am. So I forget that. I used to do dub smasher. Um also uh my final cut no longer works for whatever reason. Now I have to use iMovie, which I'm not really particularly fond of. Um very it uh limits a lot of the things that I'm able to do. Um I think that may be the updates that I have for you guys so far. Um I don't really know how my upload schedule is gonna be going, but I do only do this for fun. This is like a hobby for now. I don't get paid for it. So obviously me not uploading any videos doesn't actually affect me or my channel. I do miss you guys. Um I do miss being in front of the camera and talking to you guys, even though technically I'm talking to myself into a camera, but you know. Yeah, no. All right, so let's go ahead and get on to what this video is about. So we are in the month of March. I mean, technically I know it's April. As a reminder, in case you were not aware of, uh, there are some uh, movies that are uh, available to rent. Um, you just pay $20 and you actually get to uh, rent it for 48 hours, which I think is a really, really, really great deal. But let's get to my tier list, okay? Y'all yeah. see it, I actually switched up a few of the names. Um, I did say that I'm still kind of playing around with it and I just wasn't 100% on how I had them. But my new ones now are wow, good, enjoyable, okay, forgettable, and you tried. Let's go ahead and get on with my ranking because this is going to be a long video. I'm going to try not to like go too much. There are, I, I, mm, it's about two movies I, I I haven't reviewed three technically, but I'll try to bypass them as quickly as I could. Oh, I don't know, you guys. Let's go on. First on the list is Onward. Onward is one that um, you're able to rent, that is on demand to rent. Um, I rent them through Prime, but I believe you're able to get them through um, iTunes as well. Yes, it is enjoyable, but I'm actually going to go ahead and put it under good. Ending of it, totally not what I was expecting. I recommend for you guys to check um, Onward out if you haven't yet. I think it's just a great family movie. There's magic involved, you guys. There's freaking magic. And if you're like into Dungeons and Dragons, and I'll say it again, I want to learn how to play Dungeons and Dragons. So if you play that, if you're able to teach me like through some sort of web, whatever, like I'm totally, totally down for it. Let's get our nerd on. Moving right along to Spencer Confidential. Um, I'm just gonna say it's a forgettable movie. I love me some Marky Mark. I really do. Like I said in my review, um, whatever I've actually reviewed, I'll link those down below for more in depth on how I felt. But it just didn't really pay off for me. I honestly don't even really remember the movie overall. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it with that um moving right along to another netflix movie lost girls um i meant to do a review on this but i didn't get to it did i do a review on it and i just never uploaded it i may have i don't even know you guys did i make do a review this is horrible i did review it well that should tell you it's a forgettable movie um it i'm not gonna put it in a forgettable i mean but like when I think about the movie, I mean, it was just an okay movie, I guess. And it's an interesting story. It is based on a true story about um, murders um, in Long Beach. Don't quote me on that, you guys. It's horrible. 
it's an okay movie. I don't know. I feel like it could have been better, but unfortunately, it didn't quite make it there. It is technically forgettable because obviously I forgot that I even did a freaking review on it. Coming up next is My Spy. Oh, I totally forgot to put my four kids section. It was enjoyable. Now, this is um, a movie that I was going to do a review on. Like the very next day, this when they started canceling all the um, all the uh, future screenings. It was better than I anticipated to be. Uh, I'm going to give you just like a quick, as best as I can run through about the movie. Honestly, I probably shouldn't even have it on here. But I saw it in the month of March. We're going to add it on here. I, whenever it comes out. I think you should see it. I think it's a good movie. It's, like I said, not necessarily what I expected from it. I was like, oh my god, here goes another, like, freaking pacifier movie. Here goes another, um, um, what's it called? Uh, game, uh, um, uh, the game plan with the, the rock. And then the little girl in this movie actually was really nice. She wasn't, like, snotty or, like, annoying in any kind of way she actually really wanted to like i guess in a way help well not really because i mean technically she was like blackmailing him but it was like i don't know like she didn't get on my nerves or like these other movies where the little girls knew they i kind of had to like warm up to them i mean i know look at me and i just talked about earlier on in the movie i'm helping the kids and i'm like okay either way it goes yeah the whole like opening sequence I was just like, really? I mean, my mom like loved it. Honestly, I like I said, I went in not really expecting much. When I saw that opening stuff, I went, I turned around looked at my mom and said, this is not going to be good. She's like, what? Really? Like, that was awesome, uncle. I feel like they're trying too hard. And I feel like I kind of already had like this kind of like guard and this wall up because of that opening sequence that I really wasn't expecting it to be good that... I was really shocked on how good it was. I mean, I laughed. I mean, the people in the audience, honestly, were, like, hysterically laughing. And I'm just like, okay, I don't think it's that funny. But maybe because I do have, like, that wall up. I kind of do want to rewatch it again. Because now that I know that it is an enjoyable movie, you know, I can go in more, like, lighthearted. And really, like, take it all in. And maybe, you know, it'll get that much more of excitement. But, you know, whenever it comes out, I do think that you guys should check it out. I'm going to go ahead and shush up on this movie because... Um, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I've already talked a lot here. So, uh, next up is The Hunt, which is another one that is currently available to rent. And honestly, this is one, apparently, that is, like, very, like I said in my review, like, you're either here for it or you're not here for it. I was here for it. And I think it's a very good movie. Um, I almost honestly want to put it into the wow category, but I don't know. Maybe I'll see how I feel later on. But like I said in my review, be careful what you're tweeting because, you know, well, be careful what you hashtag with whatever you're tweeting because that's how they're going to get you. And next thing you know, because you piss somebody off, you know, you're going to end up like walking up in the middle of the field with this shit in your mouth, with some weapons, and you're about to like be killed. So just kind of be careful. I really enjoyed it. I was personally not offended whatsoever about it. So moving right along, my last two aren't Netflix uh, original films. And they're actually uh, both uh, Spaniard films. So from the last two that I have on here, which is uh, The Platform and The Occupant. I did not like neither one of these movies in English. Like if you speak Spanish and you understand Spanish or if you know you just understand spanish i full-on recommend for you to watch this in spanish it's not in english if you've seen these movies what did you think about the voice that was used i i personally did not like it but i mean i understand if um you don't understand spanish you know then you have to listen to it in english i mean i get it but if you're able to do spanish so the platform um that was just an okay movie the ending the outcome of this movie i hate it i honestly did i don't get it if you've seen this movie you understand that ending let me know down below uh but basically like the um each level uh gets like the platform full of food for, I don't know, maybe like a minute or so, a minute or two. Really, it's like this like beautiful like presentation, like gourmet. Like they have these freaking like chefs, you guys. And they take 
their stuff very seriously, okay? So you start off on floor number one and then it just kind of comes down on each floor. In the middle of the freaking floor, there is this huge like opening. So that's where the platform of food comes down and lowers everywhere down. So basically, whoever are on top are the living the best lives because you get to not only try the food first without any like nasty other like cellmates like touching or speeding or doing anything to it but you know you get to enjoy everything fresh and obviously each floor so once you kind of get down down to the lower levels you either get like just the bones or you just don't get anything and that's technically not a spoiler I do remember that being in the uh in the trailers about you know Leaving down below, you basically are starving to death. What I do like about the movie is that you do get to visit different levels of the prison. And so you kind of get to see how it is being in each individual level and what, you know, eventually be draws you to eat another human being. So if you are very, like, squeamish and you don't like seeing people eating other people, well, then this may not be the movie for you. So the last movie, The Occupant or Ogar, when I finished watching it, honestly, I saw it and I know a lot of people may not agree and that's totally fine. I'm just, my own personal opinion, remember, you guys may not even agree with how I'm ranking um, these movies, but I found um, The Occupant to be kind of like a really distant cousin of Parasite, except Parasite obviously is like 10 times better and it's more like bloodier at the end um the way that this ended i wasn't mad at it i was just like oh you son of a bitch but um i feel like the occupant was an enjoyable movie it's a little bit slow and it never really like climaxes too much to a point and i feel like it could have been a little bit better and instead of being a distant cousin it could have been like maybe even like a second cousin if they maybe pushed it a little bit more but I mean overall I enjoyed it this man he right in the head because like why 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 are you being mad at this family who is now living in your apartment like they never really said what was the reason behind the love of the apartment mind you it is a beautiful apartment the view was spectacular but it's not their fault that you ended up broke and you ended up having to go live basically like in the barrio. But this man becomes obsessed with the family who now lives in his old um, apartment. The things that he does and just to see how, I guess, psychotic he ends up getting and obsessed. I mean, this man, Javier, I believe that was his name. I mean, you really had no reason to do what you did i really don't want to give you guys any spoilers on it but i do recommend for you guys to see it if you've seen any of the movies that i've seen how do you guys rank them what did you guys see in the month of march were you able to get into the theaters before everything kind of locked down have you guys tried uh renting while well, doing the on-demand renting i totally feel like it's worth it you guys i really really do i mean like i said it's 20 dollars and you get to rent it for 48 hours in this uh video i'm not 100 sure when my next upload is gonna be i may just end up being a uh, one video a week right now how's the quarantine life going like you know are you guys are you guys going crazy um i know it got pushed back a little bit further but hang in there you guys hang in there if everybody just stays inside we can really try to flatten the curve here and you know all that stuff that the news is telling you like if y'all want to get back to your normal everyday lives just follow the damn directions and stop being so damn hard headed you guys i'm just being honest with you guys if we just all do what we're told if you're not supposed to be out don't be out just go out for the essential things. Don't be trying to go out to your Thea's house, to your best friend's house to go. No. Just stay your ass home. So that's all that I have for you guys. Um, I'll see when I'll see you guys next. In the meantime, you guys can again follow me on TikTok. But before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know right to let I post something new. Don't forget you guys, wash your hands. Six feet apart. Let's flatten this curve. Let's get back to normal. Stay your ass at home um, until everything clears up. I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.